It is Tuesday, April 2nd, around 8 p.m. Eastern Time, also market time. Let's take a look at the ES, guys. So what happened today? Well, pretty much the bear scenario happened today, right? Well, they gapped it down, so it was a little bit harder to get in on the short, right? Unless you swing, swing it from this, uh, you were swinging from the, from the day before, right? From April 1st. But what happened? Well, we came back into the triangle, right? So, pretty much, what did I say? Like, we're going to see something like this. It's either going to go like that, which I think it's going to happen. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen now. Sooner. Sooner than later. Or we're going to do this and come back up. If you come back up, then there's going to be another week or two of just staying at the top, battling, going up, battling, coming down, battling, come, you know, something like that. It's going to be annoying, pretty much what I'm trying to say. It's not going to be clean. But if we break down, well, then we're going to go down all the way to here and then the, down there eventually. So let's see how this played out in the intraday. We can uh, learn more about this, how it was done. So pretty much what happened? Well, as I was saying, like if this... If this kept on, sta if this stayed here till the open, we would have had a chance. We were probably getting a bounce up to here and then a sell off, right? Well, that didn't happen. Pretty much Europe tried to buy this up and then it got sold into them. So that just tells me that someone was really going short here and they basically used the no liquidity. Pretty much the overnight session to uh, bring the price down, right? Like the European session, pretty much, to bring the price down. Once we came here to test this zone and this didn't hold, well, then we just, like, sold off in the pre-market. And then there was a little bit of a pop there, and then it just dropped. It was pretty much super boring to trade this. Like I said, we're going to have a side, side day. But this was an accumulation right here, right? This got accumulated in the zone, and then... At this point, like it looked like it was gonna drop, but it just didn't. It went back up, and then it sold off. And then at this point, when it started grinding like this, well, then it basically blew out everybody that wanted to see a short happen beyond this area right here, right? So if you were shorting here, like at the beginning of the day, you got blown out here. Or the people that were shorting midday, they missed the, int the entry here, and they were shorting somewhere here. Well, they had to like take a loss on this day, right? Yeah, this was pretty much a side. Uh, a chop fest here into a push now is do i think this push has what it takes to take us up there i don't know i don't think so like right now i'm not bullish guys so i don't i don't know it could go up like we could see something like this into this zone and that that's when we start shorting or start shorting here right in this zone maybe it's gonna go like this and then really struggle and then go down and test here and then come back here and do this that's what I think it's going to happen, but we don't know what's going to happen overnight, right? So it's all going to be dictated what happens overnight, right? Because today we got gapped down, and if you, if it's gapped down, if they gap it down, like, well, that means they don't want us to go short. And pretty much they want to, they want you to get trapped short because a gap down is a, you know, it's a bearish event. And because the gap down is pretty large, there's pretty much no more meat on the bone, right? Pretty much. That's the way you look at it. And right now, yeah, we're under the neutralized zone. Yeah, but is this going to continue to sell off? I'm not sure because today there was not much going on in terms of selling off, right? I think the algos were accumulating and we'll see. If there's no one to bite on that move of this particular move, then we're not going up. We're probably going to sell off more and come back into this zone pretty much where we left off like this area right here, right? And we'll see what happens from there. But right now, it's pretty boring. And I said it was going to be boring, right? But we're looking bearish right now. So do I expect this to go down even more? It makes sense to do that. But since we sold off two days in a row without any significant pullback. I mean, this could be a pullback right here. You can see this is a pullback. And we did break out of the, uh, the day's high, right? So we could attempt to hit this zone right here, which I think is going to act like a magnet pretty much. And this is where the neutralized zone is, right? In this area right here. So like something like this, right? We'll put, we'll put a little thing like that. So I'm expecting uh, some type of a hit there, right? I think this zone will get hit. And once it gets hit, we'll find out where the price is going to go from there. I think we're going to sell off pretty hard into that zone and then take the price even lower. But if we don't even attempt to hit this zone, then we're going to go another leg down. Yeah, because right now we're one, 
to we might make a third leg down before we actually see a proper bounce and yeah i'm just gonna leave this as that i hope you guys had a good day and i'll see you guys tomorrow